Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Dr. Teeth. Today we are going to learn about the war lines. Now this is a very important viva question, a very important short note question as well as very important clinically for the extraction of impacted third molar. So let us see what are war lines. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Now, the third molar impaction can be in any direction. It can be mesoangular, as you can see here. It can be distoangular. It can be vertical. Or it can even be horizontal. Now, to know the position and the depth of the impacted third molar, George Winter described the war lines. So, these are basically three imaginary lines that we draw on a radiograph with different colors and these colors are W stands for white, A stands for amber and R stands for red. So war line is not a war, is a short form for these three colors. So let us see them one by one. The first one is the white line. Now white line is drawn from the occlusal surface of the first molar, second molar, okay. And it is extended over the third molar. So when we make this line, we can see how our third molar is inclined. So in this case, since it is a mesoangular impaction, you can see that this line is meeting the occlusal surface of our third molar posteriorly, behind it. Means the white line is meeting the occlusal surface of the third molar behind the third molar. Now, if we have a distal angular impaction, then you can see that the occlusal surface is meeting this line here that is in front of the third molar. Now if we have a vertical impaction, this line will be parallel to the occlusal surface of the impacted tooth. If you have a horizontal impaction, then this will be at a 90 degree angle, right? So the white line, it will indicate the depth of the tooth inside the mandible. So the white line will indicate how much deep our tooth is. And also it will tell us the relationship of the occlusal surface of this tooth with the erupted molar. Because this line goes all the way from the occlusal surface of the erupted molars, we can have an idea of the relationship of this occlusal surface with these occlusal surfaces. Now coming to the amber line. So as you can see, the amber line is drawn from the distal aspect of the third molar and it is reaching the interdental septum between the second and the first molar. So this line represents the margin of the alveolar bone that is covering the third molar. And this line, it tells us about the amount of vertical bone that we need to remove for the extraction of the third molar. Then we have the red line. Now as you can see here, the red line it is drawn perpendicular from the amber line and it goes here. This is an imaginary point where we will place our elevator. Now this point is usually at the cement enamel junction that is the CEJ. Now here we have a mesoangular impaction. So this will be on the CEJ on the mesial surface of the tooth. But if we had a distoangular impaction then they would have it on the CJ on the distal aspect. Now what is the significance? The length of this line will tell us the difficulty of removal. How difficult the tooth is to remove. So let's see that. So if this line is less than 5 mm in length, the case is less difficult. Now after this, for every 1 mm increase, for example if it increased just like this 1 mm, then difficulty increases by 3 times. Now if it is more than 5 mm, it is advised that we have to extract the molar in general anesthesia. And if it is more than 9 mm, it is a very difficult case. So this was about the war lines. I hope you understood it. And if you like the video, please give a thumbs up. Give me a feedback in the comment section below. And also share my videos with your colleagues so that it can benefit them. And also you can find the notes of this video 
in the description box below. So you can click that link and visit my website to download the notes. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.